If you're looking for a day hike outside of Tokyo, I recommend Mount Takao. You have two options. You can take the Keio Line, which goes all the way to Takao Sanguchi Station, which I recommend. You could also take the Chuo Line out of Shinjuku. It's about the same amount of time, but it stops at Takao Station. Like I said, I opted for the Keio Line. Follow the signs through Shinjuku Station. They're written in English. No problem there. And find that express train. It left from track three when I was there. It might not always leave from track three, so make sure to check when you get there. I made it and I got a seat. It's about an hour ride out of the city. Uh, there's not a lot to see. You will pass a lot of stations. That's why you want to take the express train. Once you get across the river, scenery is a little bit better. And we're at Takao Sanguchi Station. Don't worry about getting out, there's only one exit. Take the obligatory selfie. So all the people that came here and did YouTube videos, but everybody says make sure don't come on a weekend. You can just be just like in a wall of people all moving the same direction. And it's gonna go slow, it's gonna be frustrating. I came on a Wednesday. It's the 16th of November, 2022, and it's just a constant stream of people. There are some little stores along the way. Okay. Takao san, they do have a cable car. However, I just finished 75 hard. I want to torture myself in the David Gaga sense of the word, which means I'm going to try to avoid transportation and just do it on human power. Let's go. You enter on the ropeway station, just a few yards away from the station. There are plenty of places to take pictures, but let's get on that trail. I opted for trail one. It's a beautiful hike. Make sure and dress warm because it is a little bit colder than the city. If you get tired, just stop and look at the trees. They're beautiful and relaxing. There are a few switchbacks on the way up, so you're not hiking directly up the mountain. Lots of history to see along the way. I found a little patch of sun, decided to stop and look at the trees again. Once again, beautiful, relaxing. There's so many good views. I've already gone 1.3 kilometers, 2.7 to go. And we're just about at the level of the clouds. So look at these stairs. Let's check it out. These stairs are a little bit steep. Let's fast forward. Oh, the view is just tremendous. I needed this. Lots of little statues along the way. Lots of history up here. I wish I'd read a little bit more before I went. It wasn't too crowded. Now, in Tokyo, you can get a drink out of a machine for about 110 yen. Up here, it was 180. I've heard other people spent 200. The dango were selling like hotcakes. I made it about this far, decided I'd had enough. But the view was tremendous. Decided to go up a little bit more. But I'd had enough for the day, decided to go back down. Remember what I said about replica samurai swords? Never know when you're gonna need one. Mount Takao is famous for Tengu. The t shirts are pretty cool. I'm kind of tempted to get one. Time for a hot coffee. My first canned hot coffee of the season. I saw these stairs, I saw people out there taking pictures, I had to go take a look. Even after that hike, I had a little bit of energy left to go back. 
the stairs. Once I got there, I could see why people were up there taking pictures. The view was absolutely stunning. Make sure and check out my Instagram for more pictures of this hike. Fun fact, some hikers wear bells on their backpacks. That way you don't scare bears if you walk up on them. I do know one thing, my dad would have loved this forest. The hike down was a little bit easier, but the trail did get a little wet. This is why they tell you don't wear your best shoes. Found the Beewell waterfall, took some pictures. back down. Everywhere you go in Japan, the place is just photogenic. The sound of the water was very relaxing. And I found this little shrine. I wish I'd read a little bit more about it. Now these waterfalls in life were actually more beautiful than the Beagle Waterfall itself. Still wanted to take a few more pictures, maybe get another coffee. You could actually just stay around the roadway station and take pictures all day. This place is just stunning. There's a place called 599 Museum. It's called 599 because it's 599 meters to the top. It was a little bit colder than the city. Stop for another selfie and a coffee. Get back on the train. Make sure to take that express for Shinjuku. This train was a welcome sight. I was ready to sit down. And I scored a seat. I didn't want to stand for an hour on the way home. How far did I walk? Over 18,000 steps. Over 91 floors. And 12.3 kilometers. Now this also includes to and from the station from home. If you like these travelogue videos, got a few more you can watch, make sure to like and subscribe. And thanks again for watching.